my gosh. What's up? I had to wear this shirt for you today. So. I'm so glad you Lakers. wore that, baby. The Lakers, man. Lakers all the way. Toast. Yes, how, first of all, how you, how you been? I'm good. I'm good. I mean, obviously, I'm missing sports, but... You know, I think I'm everybody saying, is so, 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 so are we going to have sports in some type of way? <laughs> I don't know. I, I mean, it, it's going to – listen, For, the deadline is approaching because you know – The deadline is approaching. If you're out of shape, it just doesn't – like, I couldn't get back into shape in three weeks. Neither you know? can I. Neither can I. <laughs> and then my whole thing is calf muscles. Y'all say hi to Candace. Here he go. Y'all say the cat. Y'all say hi to Candace. Hey! Hey, ballers! ballers. What's up? Say hi! Say hi, the Annalise! Ballers come over, over y'all! Come on! Hey! Hi, ballers! You guys, are you guys giving him buckets? You guys giving your dad buckets? Yeah. yeah. We're about to go yeah. to the court right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, they, <laughs> you know they're going to the court. They 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 dead eye shooters. I love that. Annalise. What you gonna do when you get to high school in basketball? Dominate. Oh. <laughs> Dominate. They well, already. I see you just recently posted that she had like some crazy numbers, and she plays in a in a in a boys team. So yeah, you know what? It's it's when you have daughters, man, and you know you don't want to push too hard, but when you have a daughter who's five, eight, eleven years old, shoot right hand, left hand, and no, and and it's sometimes it's a hey, these these look. Uh, see they see they hype. This is uh -oh. giving me life. Hey, mm. this is, see where I'm at. So 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 when you have daughters, man, it, it's a it's a it's a push and pull, you know, because you don't want to push like you got a son, mm -hmm. and at the same time, you don't want her to miss out on some things that just, yeah. you know, yeah. just being able to hoop a ball or play football or whatever those different things are that are sort of sort of set up for boys if you can do it you know do yeah. it so but i gotta be I, look as a parent you gotta be careful oh, you, you know, know. What I'm saying i can't yeah. just i just can't just be like all the way like you have to do this lebron did this why don't you candace you know so you have to understand how to you know pull back at times no it's no doubt i mean and you have two daughters one that is Talent. I mean, super talented. She can do everything. She's been on a show. She's been on movies. I mean, super talented. I heard her singing on Instagram the other day. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so how do you figure out whether to push in what direction? Because I mean, everybody needs some coaching. You, you, you know what it is? It's like, okay, like, I wish I had an app called Struggle. I need the Struggle app. Because the thing is, sometimes our kids, because we want for them the best, so we're going to go get the best. Yeah. But then sometimes they may, sometimes just a natural thing of my life is pretty much well off. Yeah. So what I try to do is I try to give them, first of all, extreme confidence, almost to the point to where it makes them go, Dad, stop, Jesus Christ. Because as a matter of fact, my oldest daughter and I, we just sold the show to Netflix called Dad, Stop Embarrassing Me. And basically, that's all of the stories of me and her growing up, like, you know, the boys, you know, yeah. the boy come to the house, you know, at 18, they trying to get to the party. I know ain't no parents over there. I'm like, y'all the motherfuckers think I don't know what's going on right now. I done already checked. Ain't no parents over there. It's alcohol. You ain't going to do it. But the way I talked to her so, so a matter of factly was like, yo, it ain't going to be no getting down. You know what I'm saying? It ain't going to be none of that. And the boy was like, huh? I said, you heard what I said, boy? Huh? It ain't going to be none of that. And I ain't going to tell you what I actually said, but it was literally like, don't my daughter. Okay? So, so have you ever called, because you do voices, clearly. So have you ever called and pretended to be somebody else? Are you hearing this echo? Is it an echo? Is yours. Do you hear an echo? You didn't. You don't. I don't hear an echo. Okay, perfect. So How about call, look? I'll call voices? up as Mike Tyson. That's Mike Tyson. How we rock the champ in the world? You got one chance. I'm come to bite your ear off. You know what I'm I bite it off. I bite your ear off. Go one time with Jamie's daughter. I swear, I'm halfway with boxing champ. I take the tip of the nose, and press it into the bone. I can't even <laughs> imagine. Like I think about this all the time. Like the ability to do as many voices and impersonations. Yeah. Had on like. I couldn't even imagine being 
either of your two daughters because at any point in time if an if an uh, if a you know no id number calls <laughs> well, it could well, be you, anybody you you know what like i said that's the that's the other challenge you know that's the other challenge of my daughters like you know a lot of times my my oldest especially was like dad i want it on my own steam I want it on my own steam. And you got to commend her for that. So I, that lets you know she's a good egg because she's not like laying back, yo, make it for me, get it for me. She's like, I want to do it on my own. And then it was sort of like, uh, I, I got that. But also, you went to school at USC because you want to be able to say that you went to USC when you go out to get your career, right? I said, well, I am your USC. So when you need something, a push in this direction, not to do it for you, I'm your USC. So, so rely on me. But you know you got a great kid when your kid is like, yo, I got this on my own. And then when they do stumble or they do fall, you there to give them the right type of push. Because in our business, you know how it is, Candace. It's like, it's like listen, if you look at the Kardashians, what, I, what they did, like, like to me, that was a, that's an interesting case study on family. You know, it's an interesting case study on what, whatever you believe they are, to me, like the way they come together, no. it won't make things easier, but you will understand that you got somebody that arrived for you. At, at, at the, at, at, I ride for my kids no matter what. And, and they ride for me. We just had a situation, I can't, I don't know if I can say the situation, but we just had a situation where dad had got into a little scuffle, a little argument. And my little one, I said, you okay? Oh, they she don't said, play. She said, oh, she said, dad, I'm good. I said, well, what was you going to do? She said, oh, I'm about to run to the kitchen and get the... Da, 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 da. And I ain't going to say what I was. I was like, oh, what? So... Oh, no. Like... That's the watch. best feeling. That's the best feeling, you know. But you no, give it them... it really is the best feeling. And honestly, um, you know, you talk about the struggle. You talk about the passion. And that's obviously what you had and have yeah. still. I mean, you talk yeah. about your grind, your hustle, your story. Yeah. And yeah. that's the reason why you get up and do the things that you do. And yeah. Right? As parents, it's hard when you're able to give your kids things and you're able to make things easier. But by making it easier, they're kind of missing out on the development of traits and characteristics and struggle and challenges that they'll yeah, develop. Yeah, that's why you got to come. I come in and tell my daughter, I said, we lost it all, all the money gone. <laughs> so what happened there? I don't know. We broke. We got to get out of here. <laughs> we got to get out. Can you cook? <laughs> we got to get out of here. So, so what I've done is, is that I constantly take my kids places all over the world, show them places where, you know, I said, I take a, I said, my, your dad didn't have it all the time. Your dad didn't always have it. So I would always stress to you, say, this is the first time. I said, that's why. And sometimes I leave my house kind of like not all the way furnished. Just so they'd be like, dad, are we good? I said, I don't know. You know, look, look, some of it, some of it don't go together. The white couch, you know, what the, this is a white, well, the, just well, a nondescript white Justine is a great friend of both of ours. Right? Yeah, for sure. Just and Justine is on here talking about how you hustle like you're broke, and you do. Just as somebody that has been able to be a friend of yours for some years, and to yeah. see the way that you conduct business, the way you hustle, how you how you yeah. prepare for movies. Yeah. Like. Well, I mean, look, that's the one thing that I that that I say I pass on to them is the hustle. Like, look, I always think that, especially being a, a, a first, I'm first and foremost a comedian. I'm so, sorry, but I have to. I have to say, Justine said you got the outdoor furniture indoors. That's <laughs> look, 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 I'm saying right now, look. I ain't you got the outdoor she, furniture she had, indoors. Because you know why? You, you know, Justine know the reason though. She busted my little balls. I got little balls. I got very tiny balls. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Just, just know this. I don't ever want to be too perfect. Then I can't be funny. Like when I went to Eddie Murphy house, I was like, this is a nice house, but it's too nice. Ed. You can't be funny. You can't be funny like this. He said, what, what you mean? I said, Mother, your game room. He said, what's wrong with the game room? It, all your games work. Mother, everything can't work. Your Miss Pac-Man got to have a tape. The tape tape. You got to have some sort of comb. You got to keep quiet. I keep my, There's a carpet right now. I don't know if I can show you this carpet. Can I show you this carpet? Hold on. There's a carpet that I got. Let me see if this, this works. There's a carpet that I got in the kitchen. Let me know if I lose you. I got a carpet in the kitchen. Look. Look at this carpet. I keep that rolled up carpet there. They be like, why? Dad, why don't you get that fit? I said, listen, because I, I won't be funny no more. I got to stay grounded. I even got I even got a bathroom 
that's got this, and, and just so you know this, and anybody come to my house, I got this bathroom with the faucet, it spray out. I never fix it. And people walk out like, what the f Come on, man. Like, I'm going to need for you to fix your faucet. Okay. No, nah, you know, because I feel like I can't be funny. I feel like, I feel like as comedian, I'm a comedian first, then the actor, singer, whatever, but a comedian first. So therefore, I keep my house a certain way. But I'm able to have a lot of, this is the other thing I'm able to expose to my kids. Everybody come up with the fact they get a chance to see you, man. They get so overwhelmed and so blown away. They ready to go to the hoop. They ready to go to the court right now. They want to be like you. And, and that's what I expose them to in this business. You know how crazy this business can be. These motherfuckers you don't want nowhere around your kids. But then there's certain people like yourself that need to be around your kids. That need they need to be able to run into you and see how you have gone in your Jay, career. I'm not, I'm not gonna let you keep doing this until I tell the people that for Layla's sixth birthday party, what? we had an Annie theme birthday party. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that was the year that the movie Annie came out. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. And you came to the birthday party. Yeah. That's what we supposed. <laughs> and all the kids were going crazy because we okay. literally had That's a bad. birthday party that was any theme and you came <laughs> to the birthday party y'all danced you showed her like the thriller the whole everything you so. got you 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 have you have to do that though you know like like what i the, the the great part about what we do and i think you'll agree with this is the interaction that we could have to be at your place so when these kids grow up they have positive positive thing and then you know sometimes we have some parties where i don't think Maybe I don't. I was a bad parent. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know we done had everybody over here from Two Chains to Rick Ross, Bumps, Bumps. And then you see them. You see them on the balcony. You're like, oh, this is not oh, one of my yeah. fine oh, oh, parental listen, moments. Listen, some, listen. I remember they. I mean, it was a whole lot of smoke, and I was like, oh lord, let me blow this away from them. But it was sort of like how I grew up. My parents used to be. Like, I said, I remember my parents. I said, what that is? What that? What that smell? That funny cigarette. Don't go, uh, go, go, go lay down, boy. So, <laughs> I want to give business. Mind your business. Yeah, I want to give them the experiences, but they've literally met everybody. I mean, these kids got a chance to play with Kyrie Irving. Yep. He was over one night, and we was doing his birthday party here. And uh, what was funny, because we had Kyrie over, and we had a mariachi band. And he was like, you're not Kyrie. But, Serious? Mariachi band? I said, wait, what it does for the, for the girls, the ladies. Mariachi band started playing, and people was going crazy. He said, oh, this is working. Said, yeah, it's working. But anyway, he took time out to take the kids um, down to the... But uh, you got a mariachi band. Real mariachi. The guy who does... the My guy who who's here at my house, um, who takes care of the house, his name is, is Manny, and he was working outside one day, and I heard him sing, and I said, Manny, you, you, you sing? He says, yes, I have a mariachi band. I said, you sing mariachi? He said... Guadalajara, 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 that motherfucker hit that. And you was like, higher. Matter of fact, I said, Manny, you so dope. I want you to sing mariachi for Denzel. Denzel came to the crib. We had a little dinner. Denzel was sitting at the table, you know, breaking bread with all the all the actors and actresses. We was just sitting around his feet. I love to do it. I call it on my balcony. So Denzel was sitting, talking. Everybody was just listening to his stories. And I said, hey, D, check this out. I got a mariachi band. And D was like, all right, OK. So you got a mariachi band. All right. OK. Mari <laughs> <laughs> OK. Mariachi band. Huh? You got a, got a mariachi band. <laughs> and I'm going to Denzel all the time. All right. OK. OK. All right. Mar <laughs> Ma mariachi band. So I pulled the curtain back. And there's Manny with like a hundred mariachi people. So we've been doing that for like all my daughter's birthdays. So, but I have one question. How come all the parties I've been, I feel like I got put in a box? Because all the parties I've been to. Well, Candace, like you're a Christian, box. honey. I mean, you're I'm a Christian. Saying, like, I want mariachi too. You're like, Christian. We, we'll, 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 we'll do, listen, let's set it in motion right now. When we come up out of this, we're going to do the Candace Parker party. We're going to all the way turn up. All right, because you know, you know there's been some epic basketball tournaments. Justine mentioned knockout. Just FI, or knock out. So I know Back your in daughter's the day. eleven. You know Layla's ten, so we could have a squad. Just FI. let's get the squad. Let's get the squad all the way going, man. Because I'm telling you, listen, and I want them to get hungry. You gotta help me get her hungry, because.
Cause, cause once she get hungry and see other girls, you know, doing like she doing, it's gonna mean everything. I'm telling you. And listen, the only thing I do need to change <clears throat> about her daddy, you know, I was gonna bring this up. Oh, bring there's it up. Two, there's two things. <laughs> One, I saw your Cowboys virtual party. That was nice. I mean, it was nice. It was oh, cool. my God. Oh, um, my God. You ride so hard for the Cowboys. Like, you are the biggest Dallas Cowboys yeah. fan. LeBron is, too. That there is. And then there comes LeBron. And you literally will start debates. Like, I know you're somewhere in the building, and I'm there when I hear, hey, you see LeBron's stats? I know <laughs> you're there. I don't even have to turn around. I know it's you. Well, yeah, look, I'm a huge Cowboy fan. LeBron James is, and Shannon Sharp. Skip, skip, skip. There you go. Skip, 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 skip. <laughs> that ain't what he said. Skip, skip. Skip, 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 skip. Skip, there you go, skip. Now, there you go. I, I just cannot with you. Like Shannon Sharp is a LeBron fan. He ain't necessarily a Cowboy fan, but I ride with him. But, yeah. Listen, at the end of the day, sports and, and my kids, we all ride out for the, for the Cowboys. And, look, it's great to be able to have that, that, that what I was given yes. as a kid passed on because we used to have to know the song. Oh, it was early I mean, January and the Cowboys just were down for the second shot at Super Bowl in old New Orleans town. They so came to play the Dolphins. From, had to know the song. It's a Cowboy song. No, but this is passed on. Like, you learn this. Passed on from my uncle who used to have Cowboy jeans. Cowboy uh, Emmett Smith uh, jersey for his for his shirt to go to work in commemorative had Cowboy sneakers, so you know. <laughs> but you know what my what you know what my daughter really my, my daughter really love is the music. I'm least you in there playing. You playing? What's she doing? She playing. She playing piano. Turn 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 the oh, piano oh. up. Let's see if this works. Let's see if this works. You know my, you know my. Uh, I just got. Listen, by the way, so my daughter's turning eleven in May, and I got yeah. her a uh, piano. Oh man, great! You got to come over. I give so it to you. So you got to teach her some stuff. I'm gonna see if we still together. Turn it up, play. Turn it up, this is so we can hear. That's Annalise. Hey, girl. Yeah. Yeah, play it. You see what I'm saying? Like she on that. But you know, and here's the thing: it it does it. It's it's genes. Like there's yeah. some stuff that you cannot teach. Oh man, but listen, but listen. Now give me some of that. Give give me give me your give me your favorites. Let me just run off some favorites. Tell them who you are. First of all, I want to comment on your piano skills, your basketball skills, and your baby hairs because they laid just a lot. <laughs> so good job. Cheers to that. Thank you. <laughs> what? Who's your? Who, she she has a favorite. What's your? Who's your favorite? Who? Billy Eilish. Eilish is a favorite. You want to play some Billy Eilish? What coach one? Whatever you feel like playing. So does she do this by by reading the music, or does she do it by? by she can ear? read it and she plays by ear. That's crazy. No, I, well, I'm not. I'm not the best at reading for piano at least. Yeah. It's easier for me to just learn it and then remember it and play it. Mm. Natural. I'm telling you, man. Let it's me hear some. So you know, it's like take it. Hold on. Whatever you want to play. You just want to hear. Whatever you feel. But that's you know, that's what is uh oh. Give me some of that. Mm, mm, give me some of that black folk stuff. Give me some <laughs> black folk stuff. <laughs> Yo, she had between the sheets. Ooh, baby, baby. <laughs> give Dang, it up. Man. Give it up. That's my little one. Man, listen. Uh, anytime like, you want to have your listen. listen, listen. Oh my goodness. It's so cool to see like you're sitting down and you're doing it on your own too. 
You know? Yeah. We do it on our own. And do I, I do have something to say, though, because my daughter, I told you, Layla, you know Layla. So every night before she went to bed, I sang the song that you sang, Heaven, every oh, single night. And she still, like, will start humming it. Oh, but, man, like, I love that it. That was my song. And I changed the lyrics to, like, put Layla in it and all that. Oh, but, man. That's what it's about when you can take the, the music and turn it around. And, and like when my first daughter was born and I said, tell me, have you oh. heard the story that took place not long ago about an angel love in heaven? Oh, yeah. So it was like, you know. That's that's what you do for your kids. And when I tell you every night I would put I would get in the rocking chair and I'd rock her to sleep and I would sing or hum that song. And then when she finally heard like the real version of it, she was like, Mom, you don't sound like that. <laughs> <laughs> like you so don't want to put that count. <laughs> oh man, that is that but you know what? That's the one thing they do, they keep it so real. Man, they keep it so real. Good kids good. keep it so real. I but, mean but, I mean if you look at I, your your daughters are, are fans of basketball and all that stuff. You looked at Jay Z took Blue to the Lakers game. And she wanted yeah. LeBron to sign the ball. Like it was. Like, yeah, like, no man. I mean, that, that, that's the good part about it is when you get an opportunity to like let them hang out, you know, and meet these people that are they have bigger than life, yeah, and they yeah. never forget that. And I and I continue to say this, Ken. It's like by them meeting you or people that 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 are positive. I love making them, you know, uh, uh, I love making them, you know, allowing them to run into positive people, you know, good people. And then, you know, like, and you'd be surprised who's really positive behind the closed doors. I mean, Chris Brown would come up here constantly, you know, dance with these kids, you know, dance with my sister and things like that and show them like a different side of them. So we're always being able to put them in those situations. But I'm look, here's the thing though. It's not always cool. And I'm not, what, what, let me ask my question to my own daughter. What, what gets on your nerves? You. <laughs> How do I get on your nerves, baby? You just do. <laughs> so, so, so what is it? Because we just had a little thing last night, you know, I was like, you know, I'm trying to show her some certain things, and she was like, yeah, yeah. So, so what is? Go ahead, let them, let them know, let them know, because I, I don't ever want people to think that I'm perfect. That's the one thing. That was, it was only just the song part right. of it. Right. I just didn't really know the song. Right. But what, what gets on your nerves? Um. <laughs> don't hurt me. <laughs> no, please be careful. <laughs> um, She's always busting me up too. Like she always busts me up about my. About my beard and the, my hair Justin and all said, that. Don't, don't, uh, don't take it easy. Yeah, Honestly, she always. That's what Justin said. She all, she told me about my hair and all kinds of things. Um, maybe when you like, like make me get up and do something. <laughs> that's look. That's like, no. one time. One time you wanted us to go outside, and our room, the TV room, was completely clean. And you were like, and before you go, clean the room, and we were like. What do you want us to clean? And you were like, I don't know, just clean the room. Clean it again. And so we had to vacuum and stuff. And then we but, went outside and he wasn't outside. But you know what? I I mean, you know how much love and respect your dad has for you. And a lot of it is doing. Like a lot of the hustle and, and yeah. all that stuff is doing. And when you yeah. learn that at an early age, like you sitting out at the piano and having the passion to like work hard by yourself and self-starting yourself. Like you go out on the basketball court, you set a goal. I mean, there's nobody that's gonna stop you from that. And if earlier you yeah. learn that, whatever, you know, it'll carry over for sure. Yeah. And then uh, sometimes I hug her and I, my beard and my my yeah. dust gets on her face. <laughs> so, so let me let me ask you let me ask you this one question though, professionally. What is your favorite song that your dad has has done? Mm -hmm. What is one of your favorite songs? Uh, I forgot what it was, but I love this so yeah. much. This I forgot me. what it was. I had it, and I would listen to it all the time. This is giving me so much life. Listen, I don't know what it was called. This, listen. Okay, it's, favorite movie. Favorite yeah, I can't. Oh, favorite movie. She just um, watched something. 
either either Django or White House Down. Django is my favorite. I can quote. Oh man! First of all, I cannot take because I know you, so I know your personality. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I can't take the personality out of so like some of the jokes. I'm like, no, that's hilarious because. Yeah. Right. Well, you know, what's you know what's crazy? We were actually, she was actually on the set of Django. That's crazy. She was on the set of Django, watching us get blown away the whole night. And I was like, man, am I a bad parent? Because she's sitting here on the set. So I didn't let her watch the movie when it came out. And a lot of my, even with a lot of the songs, I'm like, you can't listen to that right now. But when Django, just a few weeks, what was it, a few weeks ago? I told her about, there's some animated character that she likes. And I said, that character looks like a character that your dad played uh, called Django. What was the name of the animated character? Um, uh, McCree. McCree. What is McCree? He he's, a, um, he's a video game character from Overwatch. It's yeah, one of my so, favorite video games. So this, this guy, McCree, I said, well, that's really Django. And she was like, really? Like, where? what? What you mean? She hasn't so seen it. She hasn't seen it. So me and our mom, we got it together and we said, listen, we might as well show her, you know, and we showed it to her and, you know, she was like, wow, you know, she was, so that's when it really feels good when they, you know, get a chance to see something and they feel cool about it. And when you rode in that outfit on the horse, I was done. Cause I could just well, see like you doing that. Like, I could well, you see know, you, you, you know where that outfit, you know where that outfit came from. Hold on. Let me get over there. You know where the outfit <laughs> You know where that outfit that outfit came from. You keep playing. I want to hear that music. You know where that outfit came from. Our, uh, Quentin Tarantino was like, listen, he needs to change his outfit. And I'm like, okay. They showed me the outfits. I said, no, 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 no. Get that blue one. He's like, what? I said, get that blue one. He said, why the blue one? I said, because slaves have been wearing drab colors their whole lives mm -hmm. but they come from the background of africa the reds the orange the yeah. greens the blues i said he needs to let people know in the biggest way that i'm free and that loud color is gonna speak to him so he's like all right cool i got it next thing you know we picked that and the way he cut that you cut to that blue suit and at the same time it was still you know <laughs> the joke of the girl saying you mean you want to wear that <laughs> Best. You know what I'm saying? So, I, so, I mean, it was a mixture of both. Like Tarantino, you like y'all are like the perfect. I mean, it was. Oh man, it was great because doing Django, like like you know, I wasn't supposed to do Django. That was supposed to be, I think it was after Will Smith first, and Will didn't want to do it. And I was like, Will, man, you do Django, boy, you're gonna be cool. You ain't gonna be to walk the planet. And then uh, um, it just Elba. I saw it just. I saw it just said it at a show. And you can't picture. But anybody. wait a minute. Like you played it to perfection. But, but I, listen, I went and saw Django in Russia. I was in. Wow. I was in Russia. First of all, I, let's. Okay, I paid to get into the theater in Russia, and it was in Russian. So wow. I dubbed <laughs> a bootleg copy <laughs> and and synced it with the movie theater. Oh man, that's dope. And I watched it in Russian, and it was funny because the parts that I was laughing at. People in Russia didn't get because they don't understand like the history of America what, and like all that what stuff. What is this she's lifting at? They were just like, What is this she's lifting? Like, she's lifting at this. <laughs> hey, listen. It's serious. But 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 to be honest, like, like I said, I appreciate it, but it was like when I first heard about it, and then watch this. When it was Albert, it was like, you know, this movie called Django, you know, Quentin Tarantino wants to do this movie. It's about a slave. It's what's this movie called? Because Django, what do you think? I said, boy, your, your good looking black on that mother horse. <laughs> but, he, but he didn't do it. But here was the thing I finally got the audition. And the way I actually got it was I told Quentin, Quentin Tarantino, I got my own horse. He's like, what? I said, like, I got my own horse. You got your own horse? I was like, I got my own horse. And so that was part of the reason that I got hired. So the rest was history. When you, so had I said, the my... horses, when you had the horses lined up doing the, mm -hmm. oh man, I was done. That movie and Ray. Oh man. On my two, like you transforming into that role. How long did it take for you to prepare for that? First of all, Candace, I, I, I'm, I'm like 205 right now. I was 157 pounds in that movie. You think my head is big? Look at this. You think my mother 
fucking head's big now. That motherfucker was gigantic. So how did you, like, did you work? Like, how, how did that? What you have to do at that time, what I did was I was on, like, the strict diet of, like, you know, like, low carbs, uh, a lot of greens. And then sometimes I had to lay in the bed for a couple of days just to get past that point to where I flipped my uh, metabolism over. Yes. Flipped the metabolism over, and once I got to like 157 pounds, and I don't suggest this for everybody, but when I did, I had a doctor get it for me. But when my metabolism changed, I could eat a whole plate of beignets and not gain anything. But Ray Charles, it was important that I lost the weight because there were no gyms in the 30s and the 40s. Yeah. You know, and so when I met Ray, you know, you know that was the ultimate test of putting the, together the character because I meet Ray. And I, I was like, Mr. Charles, I just want to do the best I can to do your, do your life. And he said, hey, you know, can you play the blues? I was like, uh huh. Hey, listen, if you could play the blues, man, hey, you could do anything. So there we are. We sat on two pianos, dual pianos, and started playing the blues. And then we moved into Thelonious Monk. And if any of you piano connoisseurs are out there, that's treacherous jazz. So I hit a wrong note. He said, hey, you know, why the hell would you do that? And I said, well. I just hit the wrong note. He said, "What? Well, you know what? Take the time to hit the right notes, man. That's what life is, baby. Hitting the right notes. So I took that, got it right. He jumped up and said, you know what? The kids, the kids got it. And he walked out. And then the next thing you know, we moved on to the movie. But I didn't have Ray down. I didn't have the young Ray. So I had to go to a guy's place named Quincy Jones. And Quincy Jones says, hey, man. Man, I hear you done Ray Charles, man. I hear he's, you know, Ray was a son of a bitch, man. He was amazing, man, you know. So I said, well, Mr. Jones, I need to know the young Ray. Can you help me? And he gave me a cassette tape. I said, what's this, man? It might be something on this cassette tape that you could use, man. And I was like, all right. So I, I had to get a, a used car, a, a rental car. I had a cassette player in that motherfucker. So I popped it. You had to take your Mary out and the music out. And then put the cassette. Yeah, you know what I mean? So I, I put the cassette tape in, and on the cassette tape, it was this lady named Dinah Shore back in the day. And you heard, hi, this is Dinah Shore from the Dinah Shore Show with two very lovely musicians, and Mr. Kenny Rogers and Mr. Ray Charles. And in the background, here, hey, you know what, Dinah? I'm just so happy to be here. And he was young. I said, that's who I need. I need a young Ray. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Play, play that, on least. Oh, I got to play that. Play that. Play that. Play that. Play that. Yeah. Can we hear? Hold on. Wow. Ooh, ooh, I love it when you play. Ooh, I love it when you play, baby. She be shy on me. Don't be shy on me. Let them it know, gives baby. You so I'm much Elise King. And I know they're not going to understand until they're older. But, Jay, listen. I threw a oop to Layla the other day. Right. On Instagram. I threw a oop. She Are you caught serious? it with her left. This is in the pool. I got to clarify. <laughs> <laughs> but that's beside the point. So I threw a yeah. oop. She caught it with her left. And I moved a hoop because we had talked about me moving the hoop and her dunking. Yeah. She missed it. But it was still, like, so athletic. You and can't. so I had to post it because, I mean, she missed the dunk, but, like, it was just it's demonstrating everything. her athleticism. And it made me so, like, the day that I went and watched Layla play, wow. she had one of her best games. Wow. And it just does something to you. Like, it's, like, better than your yeah. own success. Like, you, can't, you can't, under, because here's the thing. We are going to be measured by the way our children develop. Like, and whenever I look at how... When I look at, and people don't understand how interestingly tough it is to be in a place to where you've worked, you bust your ass to get there, and now how do you raise these children? How do I give these children a sense of themselves and not me, but at the same time be happy that they are our kids? And so yeah. moments like that, Candace, you just, you can't explain it because at the end of the day, man, now my journey is, it's a different journey. My journey is making sure that Annalise Fox and Corinne Fox have all the tools that they need to be successful in whatever they want to do. And they could say, they could say, I'm daddy's girl, or say, I'm on my own steam. And as, but as long as they're out there going to get it, 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 it feels great, man. I, 
Look, that dunk, I know that 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 oop means everything, this and they don't even know. Crazy, because and... she's only eleven and she's playing these. I said she's only eleven and trying to manage those chords that I couldn't manage until I was well into my twenties. You know, so it feels good. No, it feels good to see. I I I know this term went crazy, girl dad. Like it's it's nice to see the way that you are around your daughters because I've had the opportunity to be around you with your kids. Yeah. To see your joy and yeah, man. Just what it's, you it's, show them. But listen, you know what? You know what, Jamie? And this is all your friends. Justine can can attest to this. We see your grind. Like we see your oh, work man. ethic. So when I read something that's like, yo, I won't take home an Oscar because then like I'll think that I don't have to hustle no more. That's what makes you you. Yeah, you know? but and that was what I was telling. Like when we did when we did Ray, right? And and the movie comes out and it goes to the Oscars. You know, we were still hood with it. You know, like like Dave Brad, we I didn't go to the governor's ball. You know how I'm going to the governor's ball. No, we threw a little party, little after party, <laughs> showed up with the Oscar, smoking all kinds of shit. Somebody took the Oscar out of my hand, was taking jail poses with the bump. Then I just lost the bump. I didn't see the Oscar for about an hour, and it was so much smoke in the building. The, the Oscar guy he lost his base. He called, he hit me, he was like, yo, bro, where you at, man? These motherfuckers got me out here, man. I cannot with you. But it was, but I had to keep it. I I, I always worry about losing me. I worry about losing my hood. I worry about losing my black. Like, man, I don't lose my because every time you hold that Oscar, you start talking in an English accent, man. But you know, really the acting is more about the oh, take this. Put that in your hand. Oh, you know, when I started in this acting act, <laughs> the upper left course. You know, there I was doing Raymond Charles, you know. Then, <laughs> then there was Gold Digger. You know, I'm like, I don't do that. You know, I want to stay because I'm going back out on my stand up tour. I want to stay. I can't wait. By the way, I, oh, I got I'm jokes. Coming, I'm coming to that. Oh, Lord Jesus. I got you. I, once I finish it, is and, and, and you know, once I finish it, people, it's going to be one of them ones. It's a conversation piece. Because I've been watching everybody. I watched Dave Chappelle. It's great. I was incensed. I was beside myself. <laughs> See, the thing is, I was sitting there and some Trump supporters walked up and they said, there's Dave Chappelle. I said, pow! <laughs> <laughs> so I got a lot of... I got a lot of... Fun. And I just want one time, because I always talk about like the people that I would want to adopt me. Like, mm -hmm. you know, like the person I would want to adopt me. Yeah. Just even you reading a bedtime story to your daughter Come on. with different characters' voices has yeah. been so entertaining. Crazy, like, dude. Like, read uh, uh, Green Eggs and Ham is Jay-Z. It's crazy. It's right. It's crazy. I ain't saying. You know what I'm saying? You know, Sam was all, you know, Sam, Sam had a rock. He was trying to sell it. You know, then he got a whole, you know, got the clothing company. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I'm at B. You know, when I'm at B, it was crazy. I, I thought thought differently you know i just thought just <laughs> talking about, talk about, talk about. you got to do barack my favorite is and if there is any indication that uh america is not the most incredible country in the world and 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 <laughs> but you know it's crazy to be able to do barack obama in front of barack obama at the inauguration which is amazing so it's like I tell my daughter, and I bring my daughter with me. I brought both my kids for them to be able to see that. And I tell, play that again, babe. Turn it up so I can hear that. That was that. That's that Billy Eilish. How long does she sit at the piano? Hold on. Say Will she practice? Yeah, she practices. What is that? That's it. What is that? When the parties, da, da, play it again. Um, How, you play what? You play the song first. <laughs> now play the harmony part. Let's start the harmony. Yeah, come on, give it to me. You know, I'm going to come get it. Man, you're <laughs> so talented. Come man. on, man. Listen. Jay, so, so, I, so. I just have one. I have one more thing. But I'm going right. to let you get back because your daughter is.
in, in the other room. And I don't yeah. know, you know, I know you tuning in and you probably gonna drink a little bit. You know, what I'm saying, I'm an evening. I have one more thing. How did you learn? Because Justine has told me. Because I asked her, I was like, man, Jay does every impression that I've ever huh. heard. Well, you do it from music, right? Right. Yeah, because music. You learn the octaves of music. Yeah. You learn the you you learn that like you learn the uh the 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 tone first. So if it's and then certain people have certain things like Jay Z. This is weird. Jay Z and my Sammy Davis Jr. and my Kermit the Frog are the same thing. Okay, Je because Jay Z was is, asking to do Kermit. She was asking so Kermit is like uh, Kermit the Frog, Sesame Street News here with the uh, three little pigs. But if I drop the octave. You know, it's crazy. So I'm gonna store it off in Marcy Projects. Yo. That would be so it's the same and then it's Sammy Davis Jr. Because sometimes when So that's the same thing and there's a certain thing that I do with my throat. And then when it comes to like say a Dave Chappelle, Dave Chappelle is a little bit of this. It's this, this. There's that and this. Because when you think about it, it's Dave Chappelle. And he talks very smart because he'll say a very smart word to go with his get. I was incensed. I was chartreuse. I was beside myself. And then it's a pie. But that's the young Chappelle. The older Chappelle who's smoking the cigarettes, got the alcohol, working out kind of beef. He's, man, see, that's what they said about Michael Jackson, man. That's what they said. That's what they said he was doing, man. And I was about that. So now it's a matter of getting the demeanor. And then if you look at Mike Tyson, a lot of people do Mike Tyson like this. Mike Tyson, can't wait, blah, 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 blah. But Mike's actual voice, when you call him and talk to him on the phone, is what I'm going to do when we do his movie. Is this, I say, Mike, how you doing? I'll pray the Torah line, my brother. I'm happy. How are you? I'm good, man. What's up? So I'm just, I'm just, I'm happy. You know? I don't have all the crazy people around me anymore. I have the money, all that crazy. I don't have any vultures around me. So nobody's trying to take anything from me. So you know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. You could so, call in on a radio show and be yeah. Ever. That but, is a but, talent that I wish that I had because I would, I like, yeah, I literally yeah, but, <laughs> would call and be like yeah. on a radio, like, yeah, I'll do the interview. Yeah, be but it's completely else. It's, it's look, I, 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 but there are people that I learned from. I learned from Rich Little, and I know a lot of the young folks won't know who Rich Little is, but back in the day, there was a guy named Rich Little. Still, he does all the impersonations, and also, you know, Steel Sharp and Steel. I sneak and I watch like Jay, uh, 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 Jay Farrell, uh, who Jay is just, is good he's so incredible. So some of his, I just go, oh my God, it's so on point. But I do mine sort of like, a, a, I'm sort of like Bruce Jenner. And I don't know if people get this, get this, get this, get what I'm saying. Bruce Jenner back in the day, you know, when he did everything, the decathlon, he was able to do everything, a little bit of everything. So I try to like place that into a. Uh, I try to place that in the in in like as I'm doing my stand up. Well, make you have it done organic. a little bit of. I mean, that's you sing, you act, yeah. you're a comedian. You're like you. That's yeah. yeah, and and that was the thing. Is that like, why you I'm, like LeBron because he does a little bit of everything? I, I, I like LeBron because LeBron can play all five positions. Oh, okay, okay. So versatility. You know what I'm saying? You versatility, six nine, two sixty. You know, that's that's a lot. I you know, I know everybody's been I mean if you go on, on my... that diet, I'm sure like you, huh? could, you could gain some weight and be... <laughs> <laughs> and you I know your people, metabolism. Yeah, I gotta I gotta I gotta do that. There's no way I can play here, but it's like I look, everybody knows that and a lot of people I first of all I wanna let people know that I think Michael Jordan is absolutely incredible, the greatest. But I was posting some of my stuff. People was getting mad. People's getting mad at me. I said it's not that. I was the argument that I was saying was is that I, I got a chance to watch Michael Jordan and LeBron James play. So I'm not giving you something that I did not see myself. It's like, yeah. so they're, they're one and two. I mean, the most incredible players in the world, you know, so respect. You no, know, I, I, I agree with you. And, you know, I'll give, I give props. I do. Yeah. I give props. Um, I grew up in Chicago. So Michael Jordan was and is everything. Yeah, for sure. But for LeBron to be doing what he's doing off the court, yeah. I mean, obviously, on the court speaks for itself. Yeah. Off the court, what are you yeah. doing? Like he's bigger than just basketball. Yeah. And he's I mean, big. That's he's bigger than basketball. And you can, and you know, but you commend him in the way he has sort of inspired all the other players. This is a this is the first time when you guys, Candace, have really like supported like 
I mean, these big issues, man. Police brutality. There was just, just, just the, just, just now. There's this police officer being this 14 year old kid. There's all of these things that, you know, back in the day, you know, people didn't know how to speak out on, and and so now I commend you guys. I commend the guys that, and and girls in the younger generation who's who don't who are not afraid to speak out on these issues, man. So it's it's so. It's so needed because Jamie, it's y'all. I mean, if you think about it, it's that generation. It's you. It's Jamie. Yeah. It's Jay Z. It's all yeah. y'all that are doing things, multiple things, and you're not just sticking to one thing. Yeah, you that can't. Makes like you, it, it, it makes, it, and and that's what's beautiful about it. The fact that now we can spread our wings and talk about these issues, and and I and I say this too. To to everybody, especially the people in, in in our in 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 our business, a lot of times, like I hear people, well, what does a celebrity know? I say, hey, my, I wasn't a celebrity all my life. I'm not no celebrity. I'm a young kid from Texas to bust my ass to get to where I am, and I believe because I study these people. I've run into all these political people. I've run into these you know other police officers, things like that. I say, hey, I'm trying to make sure that we could clean this up because at the end of the day, we're the ones that you know we suffer from it. If you look at 19 and anybody who's suffering right now i say god bless to him and 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 we have to keep we have to keep in mind that it's not the person who's living in in the high ups but the person who who's run out of everything that we stay concentrated on that but who suffers the most in these situations african american brown people so being able to have this position that we both have it's great to be able to talk about these issues and keep the light on them, keep the pressure on our, our politicians, uh, make them understand that it ain't about the politics no more. It's about the people. The people out here really, really need us. So, like I said, I commend LeBron and, and all the other guys and all of what you guys do and all the other guys that are, that are stepping up and really, like, paying attention because if we don't say anything, who's going to? You know what I'm saying? If we don't use our platform, who's going to? Yeah, but if we, and I think it's using your platform and I know there's different generations that come from do as I say or do as I do and yeah. you're one of those people that does yeah and so we have for to. people like myself that are looking for a mentor because right now I mean we as women we as African Americans we as, uh, we're not trying to just work we're trying yeah. to own we're trying to exactly. own. we're trying to like make sure that our kids 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 know who Oh, my grandmother was Candace. Oh, my grandfather was Jamie. Fox. Like I want our kids, kids, kids to do that. And by yeah. by the actions that you're taking, and how you were able to continue to stay true to who you are, work as hard as you can, be involved in so many different yeah. things. That's better than speaking. You know what I mean? Like you're doing. And so yeah. I respect the hell yeah. out of that. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Really well, man, listen. It and and it's you and and it and it's all of us. And like I said, hey, man, look. It's a uh, it's it's a joy to know you, Candace, and I and I cannot say enough about this. When I watch you on that panel, or when I watch you play, or watch you doing your commentary, it's so beautiful. And I'm gonna tell you why, because you know you. It's like I, 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 there is a civil war going on in sports commentary. <laughs> there are the ones who are saying the most outlandish to get clickbait and things like that. And then there's people like yourself who, when you speak, you speak about the game, you speak from a knowledgeable place. Uh, you also understand this. I love the fact that you, you got your edge because you came to you know, Candace, well, whoop, just, you just can't run up on her in any kind of way. But at the same time, you protect the player because you know that the players, their reputations are on the line. So when you speak about them and just the play and not the other rhetoric and all the other kind of, it's really appreciated, man. And listen, um, Jerry, I just want you to know I'm watching. I watch. I watch the hustle, and I understand yeah. the field you enter into. Like I'm treating, commentating. I'm. I'm in my second year right now, and I'm yeah. trying to hustle like I was in my second year in the WWE. Yeah. And I think just from watching you and seeing the way that you entered into the game and how you continue to add yeah. things and how you continue to grind and, and go on diets and. Yeah. Master that, master the art of different things. Like yeah. I'm watching, so I just. Want well, I appreciate. You know, it. I love you. I. I love you. you. I appreciate you. And and hey, listen, we're gonna get through this. And here's what I gotta tell you. There is something that we are launching. It's called "That's My DJ." Are you in? 
And what that is is that's awesome. Just like how they have verses, me, Tyron Turner, Breon Prescott, we created that's my DJ, where say you and Justine will battle on live with your playlist. We'll give you a category. You got 15 songs and you battle. Verizon is gonna back us. We'll give money to, to charity for the team. Dude. And then we'll see who is who has the best playlist. So I that's what's that. coming. I love that. You always doing something, man. I always know you're doing something. When you quiet, that's when we're like, oh, something's yeah, about to happen. Yeah, gotta do it. <laughs>